In this video you will learn how to implement React Analog Clock project without any additional libraries. And here I already prepared for us an empty React application which I generated with Vid. Here is my app component with just analog clock inside and this is this analog clock GS6. As you can see here is just a single div with analog clock and I bind it here an empty CSS. And this is how it looks on the screen. So let's start with the implementation. First of all, we need here a div, which will be a container for our clock. So let's create here a class named clock. Now we must style it a little bit. First of all, we need to set fixed width and height of our clock. So let's say it will be 300 pixels width and 300 pixels height. And let's change the background color to this one. As you can see, we got a gray square. So now we can apply border radius 50% and a border, let's say 14 pixels, with some black color. And additionally we need position relative, because all our elements inside will be with position absolute. As you can see now it looks really like a clock, but we want to center it. This is why here let's write margin zero auto. Now we got a perfect clock where inside we can render our information. And first of all I want to render in this div a dot on the center, so it looks better. And let's style this dot now. So our dot should be quite big, let's say 14 pixels width and 14 pixels height. It should also be round, so again body radius 50% with grayish background. And here we want to provide position absolute, because we want to center it, so here will be top 0, left 0, right 0 and bottom 0. And we can use here margin auto, which will center it. Additionally to that I want to provide as it index because this dot must override any arrows that we will render later. Here we are getting our dot on the center, but just to make our clock even better we can use box shadow for the clock itself and for the dot. So let's apply for the clock such box shadow. As you can see it's a black color with a little bit of transparency. And here we can apply box shadow which is just black. Let's have a look again. As you can see we have a nice box shadow for the dot and for the clock itself. The next thing that I want to do is to render our hours from 12 to 11. So let's create here a class name hour. And here we start with 12. But additionally here we don't just want to style every single hour with the same styles, but we need a different position absolute for each of them. This is why here let's write hour and 12. And then I want to copy paste it 11 times. And now let's update it. So we have here 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And we need 11. So again this hour class is totally fine, but for each of them we want an additional different class. So here we can say 1, then 2, here is 3, then 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and 11. As you can see we successfully rendered our numbers, now we must position them correctly with absolute. So let's jump to our CSS and style first of all all our hours. So here will be an hour with position absolute and font weight 700, so it is really bold, and bigger font size 22 pixels. Now we need to position each of them, so here will be 12 with top 10 pixels and left 86%. As you can see now 12 is positioned correctly. Now we can do exactly the same with 1, it will be top 10% and right 26%. As you can see it also is positioned correctly. So basically if you want to learn how I position them, you simply need to open DevTools, take your number and then just move it to position like you want. You can use pixels or you can use percents to position them correctly. So in order to avoid repetitive tasks, I will just paste all prepared numbers. And as you can see here, I just calculated the positions of 2, 3, 4 and all of them until 11. As you can see in browser, we rendered all these numbers on the screen with position absolute. So now we are coming to something interesting. We want to position our hour hand and move it. So how can we move it? In order to do that, I want to create a new state which will store inside current time. So we need here time and set time. And here we are using a use state hook and inside I call new date, which will store current date there by default. 
but it is not enough because we want to call use effect and inside we want set interval. We can't just use set interval directly in the code, we must always pack it inside use effect. So here we will have set interval and we want to call it every single second. So here with one second, we want to update our time. So here let's call set time and we just provide inside new date, which actually means we are updating our time state every single second. Now here I want to show you inside console log what logic I want to implement. So we can take here our time, which is our date and call here get hours. After this, I want to multiply it by 30. And let's look in the console. As you can see, we are getting quite huge numbers. And this is happening because we have a memory leak. What I forgot to do here, I forgot to set an initial array. So our set interval is executed just once. This is why in my case, we're creating them again and again. After I set it here an empty array, we don't have a memory leak. And as you can see, we're getting the change every single second. And what I'm getting here is 660, which is the amount of degrees where our error should be. Because essentially the whole circle is 360. And if we have here, for example, 22, which is 10 o'clock PM, we're multiplying it by 30, we're getting 660. So this error will be here. So in the whole day, we're getting two circles. One circle is 360 plus 360, so our maximum is 720. Which actually means now we can use this information to render correctly our hand position. So inside our clock, I want to create a div with class name, our hand. And additionally here, I want to provide style because we want to give here a dynamic value. And inside style, we can write transform, which will be a rotate string. And here it will be rotate Z. And inside we are providing our variable. It will be time get hours, which you just saw, multiply by 30. And after our variable, we are writing degrees. Let's have a look in browser. Here we have our element inside clock, which will be our hand. And here is transform rotate 660 degrees. And as you can see here, you can inspect it. 660 will be here. This is exactly what we want. So now we just need to style our, our hand. So let's create here an hour hand. And it will be first of all position absolute. Then the t index 5. So it must be smaller than our dot here because here was z index 10. The width of our hour hand will be 4 pixels. And the height will be 65 pixels. Now we need to set a background, which should be black. And we need to set our top position, which will be 79 pixels. Also here left 50% and transform origin. Here it will be 50% and 75 pixels, so we are moving it correctly. Additionally, we need a small margin left, minus 2 pixels. Because the whole width is 4 pixels and we want to move it 2 pixels to the left. Let's have a look here. As you can see, our arrow is positioned correctly. How it happened? Without our transform, our arrow is positioned like this with position absolute. And here we're setting width height and we're using top left to position it correctly on the center together with margin. And here we have transform origin. So let's try to remove it. If I'm removing transform and I enable this transform, as you can see, it is not positioned correctly. This is why here we must apply transform origin, which works just like we want together with transform and rotate. And the last small tune that we can do, we can make this error more beautiful because now it is just a square. In order to do that, we can write here border top left radius 50% and also border top right radius 50%. And what it does, as you can see in browser, it makes it really like an arrow. Now let's implement exactly the same with minute hand and second hand. So what I want to do here, I want to copy paste the same code and it will be our minute hand and second hand. The only difference here will be that we are not taking hours, but we are getting minutes and we are multiplying them not by 60, but by 6. And here we are doing exactly the same with seconds. We are getting here our seconds and we are multiplying them by 6. So what I want to do, I want to copy fully our, our hand because it will be super similar. Here is our minute hand, position absolute is fine, Z index should be slightly different, width for pixels is fine, but it should be higher, so here will be 100 pixels. Let's change also here a color, our top will be 46, 
and left 50%, again margin left minus 2, and our transform origin must be 50% and here 105. And again we have here left and right border radius. Now I will copy paste it again and update to second hand. And our second hand will be of that index 7, our height will be even bigger, we stay the same, and let's change background color to red. Our top will be 26, left 50%, and here actually let's do our width just 2 pixels, because this is a second hand, and then margin left should be a half, so it's 1, and our transform origin is 50% and 125. Let's have a look if it's working. As you can see here we got 3 arrows and we are getting correct time. And if you are interested to learn how to implement a calendar inside React without any additional libraries with the meeting list, make sure to check this video also.